So you're thinking about moving to Lake Wildwood, California, but before you do, you wanna know all of the good things about it and maybe what's not so good about it. So in this video, I'm gonna go over all of the pros and cons of living in Lake Wildwood. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything about living in Nevada County, California and the surrounding areas like Lake Wildwood, subscribe, tap the bell for notifications so you can stay current on the market here. You can leave a comment or a question down below and I will get back to you. My name is Cheyenne and whether you're moving in three weeks or three months, my partner and I would love to help you. All of our contact info to call, text, email, or even schedule a Zoom is down below. So as I said, we're gonna go over all of the pros and cons of living in Lake Wildwood and even the ones that um, might go either way depending on your personality. So let's get right into it. Pro number one is access to the lake, the golf course, the clubhouse, restaurant, tennis, bocce ball, pickleball, five beautiful parks and with beaches. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go deeper into the lake and the golf course in a few moments, but that's number one, just that you have access to all of these things. Cause if you don't live there, you can't go in. You can, if you live there, you can call a friend in for the day, but you don't have access to come and go whenever you want, unless you live there. Pro number two is the lake. Let's dive deeper into the lake. No pun intended. Um, you can maybe not dive, but you can swim in the lake. There's buoyed off sections so that when people are boating, it's always there's always a safe place to swim. It's a 300 acre man-made lake and it gets its water from Deer Creek, which gets its water from Scott's Flat Reservoir. And you can boat, water ski, um, as I said, swim, you can fish, catch and release style. There is a marina to keep your boat at. Um, there's probably a waiting list for the marina, but there's also a dry lot where you can park your boat not in the water and there's a boat launch right there. So you can launch your boat from the dry lot. Um, of course, if you have a lakefront home, then you have your own dock all the time to keep your boat at. And if you're interested in seeing um, all of these things, I did a vlog tour of Lake Wildwood, so you can check that out and see all the, the marina and the boat launches and all of that. Lake Wildwood, as I said, also has five beaches, which um, most of them have sand and picnic areas and um, shade cloths, and the beaches are really beautiful and people really, really love them. Pro number three is the golf course. And I'm actually thinking now this might go either way, depending on if you're a golfer or not. This could maybe not be a pro for you, but um, it is one of the reasons why people love to live in Lake Wildwood. The golf course is 168 acres. It is beautiful. Um, you know, prior to um, being a realtor in this area and seeing Lake Wildwood, every time I passed a golf course, it never really excited me or did anything for me. It actually just kind of looked boring to me, but the Lake Wildwood golf course is beautiful. I don't know why it's so beautiful. Maybe it's the landscaping and the terrain, but it's just, it's really lovely. It's an 18, 18 hole championship golf course. So I'm not a golfer, but um, that's what I'm told. It's a championship golf course. So not exactly sure what that means, but it sounds, like a, a pro for sure. There's also a pro shop, which is um, like a candy store for golfers. It has everything a golfer would need. The golf course is also one of the best values in Northern California. So um, as I said, I'm not a golfer, so I don't really know what the price is. If you would just were to go to a random golf course, what that costs, I have no idea. But every client that I've taken into the pro shop to find out the pricing, um, they didn't bat an eye. They thought it was very reasonably priced and whether it was just for the day or for an annual um, package that you can purchase. So when you live in Lake Wildwood, there is an HOA. I'm gonna get, get into that in a little bit, but even though there's an annual HO, HOA fee, you still have to pay to use the golf course because not everyone that lives in Lake Wildwood wants to use the golf course. So it's like an additional thing like that. You pay if you want to use it. And like I said, if you want to see the golf course, I did a vlog tour of Lake Wildwood, so you can check that video out after this one. Pro number four, Lake Wildwood is a certified Firewise community, which is wonderful. There's a fire station right at the entrance of Lake Wildwood, right when you drive in. 
pro number five is Lake Wildwood has two gates to go in and out of. And the reason why this is such a good pro is because Lake Wildwood is quite large. And if you lived on the far side of Lake Wildwood and there was only one gate, you'd have to drive 25 miles an hour around the lake to get outside of Lake Wildwood. So it's really convenient that there's two gates because you can just exit out the second gate if you live on that side of Lake Wildwood and drive 45 miles an hour down Pleasant Valley Road. So that's really convenient. And also I did a map video um, where I went into my computer and went in the map and showed you where everything is. Um, and I went over the gates in that. So if you wanna see some more detail on that, check out my map video of Lake Wildwood. Pro number six is that the roads are maintained. So you don't ever have to worry about potholes or anything like that. The roads are really well taken care of and all of the common areas like the clubhouse and the parks are beautifully landscaped and maintained. Pro number seven is that even though it is an HOA, it, there is not um, cookie cutter style homes. All the homes are unique and different and um, I really love that about Lake Wildwood. It's visually very appealing to drive around Lake Wildwood and see all the different kinds of unique homes. And again, if you wanna see the vlog tour of that, check out that video of mine after this one. Pro number eight is that it's close to just about everything. It's close to Grass Valley, Nevada City, the Yuba River, Tahoe is just about an hour away. And again, I did a map video of where all these things are so check out the map video if you want to see actual how far everything is from lake wildwood pro number nine is that lake wildwood is a great place to retire it is not a retirement community so all ages live there which i love it's got lots of families um, of course you see kids at the beach often so there's all age ranges but it is a great place to retire or have a second home okay that brings us to pro number 10 and that is that lake wildwood has all price ranges right now the lowest is in the low threes um, but markets change that could that number could change and then the highest right now is three and a half million and there's everything in between so there's something for everyone in lake wildwood before I get into the cons, I'm gonna go over the ones that could go either way depending on your personality. So the either number one is there are lots of deer and turkey in Lake Wildwood. And this could be a pro if you love to look at animals and the deer are just adorable. They're not very shy of people. Um, it's really cute to just see the deer all over the place and packs of turkeys. Um, but the con to that is that they do, the deer eat quite a bit of plant material and turkeys like to scratch up gardens. So um, if you're gonna plant like a new tree, you need to put some cage around it. You can put um, some fencing around your garden, but there is, you know, it is an HOA, so there's rules and you need to get permission. But I have seen fencing around vegetable gardens, which you would need to do for the deer. Um, so there's ways around it. But yeah, that could go either way. Either number two is that it is an HOA and HOAs have rules and fees. So that's not for everyone, but it really just depends. I have some clients that aren't bothered by it at all and others that don't wanna deal with living in an HOA. So the HOA fee is about, I think it's just under 3000 this year. Um, and that's just for an annual each year. Either number three is that the entry gates are have guards 24 seven, human beings 24 seven at, at both gates. So um, for some people, they love this. They love that um, it's a community and people can't just come in and out whenever they want to. And other people I know find that that's not something that they're interested in. So it really just depends what kind of lifestyle you're looking for and that one could just go either way. Either number four is that Lake Wildwood has a speed limit of 25 miles an hour. Now this could be a pro because it creates a very serene environment. People walk their dogs along the road and you don't have to worry about someone flying by your house. Um, but someone else might find this really annoying and they don't wanna to have to drive 25 miles an hour. So it really just depends on um, yeah, how you feel about that. 
Either number five is Fourth of July is a huge event in Lake Wildwood. And I just wanted to put this one in here because um, it's most likely not a problem for anyone, but I, I wanted to include it because it's a big event. There's fireworks. Um, normally there's no traffic in Lake Wildwood, but on 4th of July, everyone and their mother is out and lots of golf carts are around, roads are blocked off and everyone's at the park and it's a big crowd and, and it's fun. Everyone's picnicking and watching the fireworks, but I just wanted to say it could be an either because maybe that's something that you really wouldn't like and um, that might irritate you. I don't know, but um, there you have it. Either number six is the weather. Lake Wildwood is about 1200 feet elevation. So we don't get snow um, in Penn Valley or Lake Wildwood. I mean, every couple years there might be a dusting of snow, something like that, that's really pretty and easy, but um, if you wanna live where there's snow all winter, then Lake Wildwood is not the place for you. Um, our winters in, in Penn Valley are really mild, so that could be a pro for you if you don't wanna shovel your driveway and you just like a mild winter. Um, summers can be hot though, so it's a trade-off. Um, summers are pretty hot in Penn Valley. It just depends on what kind of weather you're looking for. Either number seven is that there are no dogs allowed at the beaches or the parks in Lake Wildwood. So this could be a pro for you if you want to go to the beaches and not have any dogs running around, or I know sometimes dog owners don't clean up after their dogs and that can be really annoying. So that will not be a problem um, at the Lake Wildwood beaches and parks, but it could be a con for you if you have a dog that you love to take everywhere with you. There is a mile long hiking trail that you can take your dog on. Your dog has to be on leash, but um, that's a beautiful trail with lots of trees. So there's lots of shade. Um, so yeah, that just depends if you have a dog or what lifestyle you have with your dog. Either number eight is that the lots in Lake Wildwood are about a third of an acre. The average lot is 0.30 of an acre. Um, every once in a while, you'll get a bigger one. I have seen an up to an acre and a half, but generally speaking, they're a third, maybe a little bit more. And so this could be a pro for you if you don't want to take care of a bunch of acreage. You don't want to weed eat huge areas of of land and it's just easier to maintain um, so that would be a pro it could be a con because you want more privacy and you want more space next to you so um, it there really are you know it's a community so the houses are spaced fairly close together but it just depends also on the lot sometimes it depends if um, maybe be in your backyard there's more open space or maybe next to you is where there's a little more space. It just depends on the lay of that lot and where the house was built. Um, but that could definitely go either way just depending on what kind of lifestyle you're looking for. Okay, let's get into the cons of living in Lake Wildwood. I could only think of two. The first one is that there has been some times where some bacteria was in the lake. And the last time that they had a real problem with this was 2017. And ever since then, they test regularly and they put their test results on their website. So they're very on top of it and they, they you can go look up the test results anytime on the website. Um, so that's the first thing that I thought of. I don't think there's been an issue since 2017, but I just wanted to bring that up. Um, and then the other thing is that um, in this county, not specifically Lake Wildwood, but just in the whole county, and Lake Wildwood is in Nevada County, um, is that we have wildlife here. We have bears, um, mountain lions, rattlesnakes, and so I think it's less likely that you're gonna see any of those animals in Lake Wildwood since it's a more residential populated area, but I guess it could happen. And so I just wanted to be fully transparent about that, um, but we don't have alligators, so that's good, right? Well, I hate to end on a bad note, but I wanted to be fully transparent. And if there's anything you think I left out or some, something you have a question about, please put that in the comment below and I will respond to that for sure. All right, you guys, until next time, have a good one.